Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll discuss about enhancement type MOSFET. And if you recall the depletion MOSFET, in the depletion MOSFET, there was a channel built in and channel. But in case of an enhancement MOSFET, there is no built in channel between uh, the two uh, doped regions. So that is one of the difference. Now the basic operation characteristics, if the voltage, gate voltage is set to zero, then the current uh, through this will be obviously zero. But if Vg is positive, apply a positive voltage here, then what will happen? the holes near SI2 layer will move deeper. So this is the SI2 layer or silicon dioxide layer which is acting as an insulator and any holes here will now move away from it because there is a positive charge here and the you know that the like charges repel. So the holes will move from this area and what will happen as a result? The result is a depletion region, so there will be a shortage of holes here. That means there will be a majority of electrons now. The holes have moved away from here and there will be a majority of electrons. So it's like forming another N channel in this region. And this will help in the conduction of current. So as Vg increases in magnitude, so as we increase this voltage, there will be more and more holes moving away from here and there will be more flow of current. But after some time or after, after some voltage, this will uh, stop, it. that is known as saturation. Since the channel is non-existent with Vg0 and the enhanced by application of a positive gate volts, this MOSFET is called enhanced type MOSFET. So, since the channel is created or enhanced after application of positive voltage and that is why it is called enhanced type MOSFET. Now, if you see the characteristics curve, the drain characteristics curve, a uh, couple of things we have to note the level of VGS now this, this is the VGS the gate voltage that we are applying here the level of VGS that results in an increase in drain current from 0 milliampere is called the threshold voltage so the moment uh, we the we are increasing the voltage level and the moment uh, current starts flowing that is known as the threshold voltage. Like in this example, you can see Vg, this line, the upper line is of 3 volt and the lower line is of 2 volt. The moment 2 volt has been applied at the gate, the some current, very minimal current, but current has started flowing uh, in the line. So this is, this 2 volt will be called the threshold volt. So read again, the level of VGS that results in the increase in drain current from 0 milliampere is called the threshold voltage and it is given by the symbol VT or VGS. However, if we hold VGS constant, now we are keeping this constant and increase VDS the drain current will eventually reach a saturation level. So we can just select any one. Let's say I'm selecting this one that the gate is now 6 volt here. And what we are increasing is the gate to source, uh, uh, sorry, uh, drain to source voltage. So this voltage we are increasing. This we are saying fixed as 6 volt and we are increasing VDS. So we follow this curve now. So initially the current is rising, 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 but at some point it will now become constant. So this is the, uh, we can say that saturation has started or this is the saturation level. 
and that is true for every gate voltage. Now the saturation level can be defined as VD saturation is VGS minus VT. So in this case VGS is 6, VT we have said that it is 2. So 6 minus 2, 4 volts. So at level of 4 volts somewhere here, you can see it has started leveling. So this is uh, the uh, uh, level or the saturation level for this curve. And similarly, you can see that the saturation level for, for this is here. For this curve, it is here. And for the 5 volt curve, it is here. 6 volt curve, then 7 volt curve, and then... 8 volt curve. So the, this is how the saturation level is changing and this has been called as the locus of VD saturation. Now for the uh, drain uh, uh, characteristics curve we can uh, say that for level of VG is greater than VT that means when it starts conducting the drain current is given by this formula. So in this case, a shock list formula is not applicable, so we are using a new formula. And in this formula, the term K is a constant which we had to uh, calculate for each device, uh, which is depends on the construction of the device. And from here, we can calculate K, which is ID on. So this ID, we are calling now it ID on, that means when it becomes on. And it is something like IDSS that we have uh, uh, read in JFT. So keep that in mind. And divided by VGS on minus VT square. So we'll see this uh, when we solve problem. We'll understand this better. Now in this particular case, ID on is like if this is the maximum voltage that we are talking, VGS. So in this case, the ID, maximum ID, or ID on we calling is 10 milliampere. So ID on is 10 milliampere and uh, VGS on is 8 volt. So substituting these values and uh, V uh, G uh, or the threshold voltage is 2 volt. So we find K. So this K is now valid for this particular device. So the general equation now this equation will now become ID and we plug in the value of K. So we'll be using this equation uh, for this particular device. Now the transfer curve here is slightly different. And as we did in case of a DMOSFET, we can plot it directly from this graph. So we just extend this line all the way. And in this case, the upper line is the uh, um, current line but bottom line here is now um, scale is for VGS so these voltages are shown here so now a for 8 volt VGS we have to write here 8 and we connected this and 8 from here so this is the point so we mark that point and similarly for 7 volt uh, we uh, extend the line and link it with 7 volt here and similarly all the other points and we can then draw the curve. So this is one way of drawing the transfer characteristics curve. And we'll see uh, now uh, with the help of an example we'll clarify our concept more. So using the data provided on the specification sheet the average threshold voltage for 3 volt determining the value of the K and also draw the transfer characteristics. So the first is the, we know this was the formula for K. Now for this particular device we have to find ID on and VGS on from the characteristics curve. Uh, or sorry, from the uh, data given, data sheet or the specification sheet. So from the specification sheet we can see that for VGS10, the current is 3 milliampere. So 3 milliampere here and 10 here, and V threshold already given 3 volt. So plugging in the values, this is the value of K. 
Now the second part of the question we have to plot the transfer characteristics curve. Now since in this case the drain characteristics curve is not given therefore we cannot plot the transfer characteristics curve directly from here. So we have to use the formula to plot and we will be using this scale here. And if you recall this was the formula we had calculated the value of k already. So plugging in the value now this equation we will use and you uh, will calculate values using a couple of values of VGS. So let's say VGS is 5 volt. Why we are taking 5 volt because generally if you can see from here after 5 volt the saturation region starts. So we will start from 5 volt. So plugging in 5 volt here the current will be 0 0.244 milliampere and you can see we have just tried to plot it here for 5 volt 0 0.244 and similarly for 8 volt 10 volt 12 volt and 40 volt we can calculate all these values and plot it here as shown so this is the uh, transfer characteristics curve for this example so I hope uh, this has given you an understanding what is transfer characteristics curve, how we can plot for enhanced MOSFET. Thank you. Uh, one um, caution here, MOSFET handling. The static charge can break down the MOSFET. So the insulation layers break down uh, by static charge. So you have to be very careful in handling. Although an effort has been made to protect by using uh, Zener diode protection in, in the built-in MOSFET, but still uh, it is best to be very careful in handling and it is better that uh, while you are handling this you discharge yourself uh, by touching some metal parts uh, which is linked with the ground. Uh, not just touching the key, I have seen one uh, one of the professors, he was just touching the key, so that will not discharge, it has to be linked with the ground or the uh, ground level. Thank you.